All right, so the time has come. Episode 22, dog. Episode freaking 22. Our boy Marcus proposed to Chloe. Maze is on that bullshit. Dan is just Dan. He's not, uh, there's nothing <laughs> significant happening with Dan, actually. So, let's watch this damn thing. Run. It's so funny how these episodes start and someone ends up getting killed. So I wonder how this dog is going to die. It's Cornelia, showtime. Oh. It's Cornelia? What the? The hell? What dog is this? Cujo? That is some rock girlfriend. It is exciting, isn't it? Oh, how much time do we have before the big day? Three months? Weeks, actually. What? Three weeks? That is not DJ, tuxedo, marriage license. We have a nice bottle of single malt. This is a lot, isn't it? It's a... Uh... Yeah, shout out to them for getting all this shit planned out like that. Well, I'm going to try to understand why the detective would want to marry that overstuffed man, Ham. Or you could just tell her how you feel. I already missed my window for that, unfortunately. Oh, he keeps... You the one that's postponing shit. Into... Well, how am I supposed to get inside your head if I can't watch you at work? The job is who you are, detective. <laughs> Well, Marcus how about you watch Dan? It's coming. Because oh, my case damn. is... <laughs> I heard a door close. I'm like, okay, is that Marcus? Nah, it's just Dan. Husband's on his way now. Right, a canine killer. Seems they can't trust you with a real homicide, Daniel. Nope, the bitch is innocent. The cause of death was... <laughs> I got your message about the engagement. Ooh, Plans back nice. on, right? Oh, I don't want to die anymore. I, I know you don't understand. I hardly do myself. We had a deal. And I will honor it. Show me your arm. Oh my God, bro. I was going to say it, but I wanted to hear what they were going to say before I was going to say it. I was going to say, Maze is going to find out sooner or later that that man doesn't have a mark on his arm. Maze is a smart demon. She's smart. She has a little naiveness to her, but she's smart as hell. She's a Harvard graduate out here. Oh no, he drew, uh-uh. If Decker loves you, then the mark Uh-uh, uh-uh, he, he must have. Hurt himself. Uh-uh, that's bullshit right there. I'm always saying bullshit when I talk about this show. But that is some bullshit. You ain't fooling nobody. How did he get that mark? Did he get, like, some glass and just scarred himself? Damn, that actually looks like it hurts. Oh, my God. Maze, super psyched you're here. I got me what you might call... Ew, emergency. that was disgusting. In the meantime, you better figure out that other way fast. Or what, Maze? But speaking of baffling unions, how are you doing? You and Charlotte still a thing? Oh, I am. I don't know what's going on this with that situation. It's like we just play buddies at this point, man. I was hoping that you might be able to help me out again. I know we failed. Again, too. we fail. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Being a trial lawyer has taught me anything. It's, there's always a way to get inside someone's head. You could dig into your own fears and insecurities. Ooh! You want him to dive into his insecurities? Shit. And, and for me, it's going to be really nice hanging out again. Nice is exactly what I was going for. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What is Maze doing? I should say, what is she going to do? Ella was just like, yo, you do the pregame shit after I get off of work. Which I should have known that was just a bad idea to begin with. But let's give Maze the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Oh, well, I'd be down. Yes, I surprise! I would have never guessed this either. Knowing Maze, you know, for some reason, I still can't trust Maze. I don't know. Maybe I'm just part of the problem. For me, care for some non-alcoholic punch? We need some more people, bro. Sorry. This ain't no damn Not party. Sorry. It's like four people here. Sure. Matter of fact, you got three women and a kid. I can't imagine you retire. New time, new tune. Uh, tell me, what do you want? Desire. I'm married, Peril. Oh. That's not that's not how that works, Dan. What the hell, man? SWAT test. This Suspect man calls the SWAT team. <laughs> oh man, Lucifer always going the extra mile. You gotta love him. You just gotta love him. Relax. I asked you here to celebrate. I've wanted this to happen for so long. It's hard to believe it actually is. Yeah, I am really happy for you, Pierce. Truly. Thanks, bro. I mean, because the it's best mad. thing. 
really said thanks, bro. The character development is incredible. <laughs> oh, we having fun up in here. I thought Maze was gonna work that pole, bro. Are you nuts? This is everything I ever dreamed of. Genuine leather. Ellen. I really I love how she calls her Ellen still, bro. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? She invited male strippers. Charlotte Rich is a freaking goat, bro! <laughs> she went the extra mile! I'm really all good. Come now. There's really nothing you want. I want the miracle of birth. Trying to solve a murder here, <laughs> love, but I'm sure you can find some. Well, given motive and lack of alibi, you leave me with no choice but to follow my trusty detective gut and arrest you for the murder of Francis Hoffman, Tagger and Bagger. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's definitely one way to sober up. <laughs> Charlotte. Oh, oh, is that Charlotte, Linda? Hi. Getting your groove okay, on? girl. <laughs> oh, I see you. Is it just me, or are we short a couple of giant hot dudes? <laughs> Maze. Maze whooping their ass. Oh, oh, she's doing more than whooping their ass. She's pushing them off the bus. This means war. Linda, 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 Linda. Uh-uh, Linda, Linda, you don't want none of that. And, and I don't know. I mean, your faith in some pretty ruinous odds is truly inspiring. I like how Charlotte is on a mission and Maze is on a mission. I love it. I love it. It's a fun episode, but there's a purpose to this fun stuff that's happening. You think so? Wait, are you trying to freak her out on purpose? That's exactly what she's trying to do. What? Stop the freaking bus! Bro, this whole night just got effed up in a matter of 10 seconds. <laughs> We could have sent the dog back with the rest of the guys. Nonsense. The detective would never allow a pregnant lady to ride in the back. Yeah, Dan, you sit in the back. The reason you won't ask Chloe why she's marrying Pierce is because you're scared to hear the answer. Ha! Ah. You're only thinking about Chloe as her job. I mean, you don't even call her by her name, which is Chloe, not the detective. It I didn't even think about that. He's never called her Chloe. Yo, Dan out here spitting facts, my G. Yo! Hey, nobody asked me about any damn bus. Yeah, so you throw my next best chance for a sex life off it? Fake tattoos. Fake. Pierce tipped me off. Pierce was looking into fake tattoos. Yeah. What? Lying bastard. The plot thickens, ladies and gentlemen. So what is Maze going to do next, though? Jeez. It's getting juicy up in this joint, bro. Where'd Chloe go? I didn't even think about Chloe in that scene. I was too busy focusing on Maze. Chloe cannot catch a break at all, bro, in terms of just mindset. Her mind is just being effed up constantly in these last two episodes, bro. Oh, there's my good girl. Uh, girl? Poor baby. Oh, he's the he's one. Get in here, you stupid mutt. Come on! Is Dan's gonna pull up. What the Yo, Dan is playing Lucifer so well. Shout out to Dan, bro. And conversely, Lucifer is playing Decker well. Cornelia only he got goes. Lucifer down to the T. I don't know how he does it. Do you know what it's like to be kicked out of your own bed by a dog? This is but a crazy ass storyline. I could never get up the nerve. <laughs> hey, Payday! Woo! <laughs> you leave me with the paperwork and run off alone. You Carl, really I... don't see the irony, do you? Oh, Very ironic, bro. Rely on. Perhaps I should find someone steady, someone responsible. Someone Acting who can actually just be like there Chloe, for me. bro. Oh. This is amazing. You gotta see the situation through her lens, bro. Through her eyeballs, man. You get it now, Lucifer? Do you understand? Now let's cut this bullshit out. I get it now. Thank God. Took you a long time, but we got there. So you thought I wouldn't find out your mark is fake? A real dumbass. She's asleep. Trixie. 
You son of a butter nut. Can't use the kid as he maybe not tonight. But I am coming for you. Bro, she's just Batman, that shit. Where the hell did she go? About uh, all this wedding stuff. It's way too overwhelming. We don't need the whole circus. It's about you. I can't marry you. I'm sorry, Marcus. Oh, shit. Dan. Oh, Dan's gonna tell Charlotte how he really feels. But at the same time, I thought we kind of established this already. Dan was like, if you need time to wait, then I can wait. So maybe that's not the approach he's taking. Well, okay, I don't know. Let's just keep watching this damn episode. What is it? We've been keeping things kind of loose. And I said that you could use your space. Right. I never told you what I want. I want you. It's about damn time, Dan. The whole deal. Oh, shit. Okay. I thought some bullshit was going to happen. But okay. Now it's Lucifer's turn. Matter of fact, no, it's not It's not the time. <laughs> oh, man. It's like, the, the, when is the time? When is the time, bro? Lucifer was supposed to do this last episode. But now she just broke up with Pierce. Now I'm assuming Lucifer's going to try to do it again. Good. You're back. I am. Yeah. Oh. My ring. Oh, it's nothing. Nothing. Completely irrelevant. We can wait tomorrow, right? I was thinking. Back to work? After you. Uh-oh. Now it's reverse. Now Marcus is in the Lucifer seat. <laughs> but this time he looks angry. This man looks like he wants to rip someone's head off. Now if we go in that direction, let's go in that direction. Let's not sugarcoat nothing. Let's not prolong anything. If we're going to go there, we're going to go there right now. I thought Maze was going to do some shit in this episode. But I guess ultimately we she did find out that um, it was a fake mark on Marcus's arm. So now as I think about it, Mazakin was going to end everything in this episode, but Trixie was in the way. Either way, it's going to be really exciting to see how all that unfolds. My boy Dan told Charlotte, like, yo, dog, I want 100% of you. I don't want 25%. I don't want 45%. I want 100%. And uh, I'm done. I'm done prolonging this shit. I want this now. I'm just waiting for that avalanche to happen, bro. I'm waiting. And I feel like we're going to get there next episode. I'm ready, bro. I'm ready. That's my reaction. Like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And we'll be back with more Lucifer reactions. So you do not want to miss out on that. Hit that bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified whenever I go live or whenever I upload a video, man. I'll see you guys then. Peace out.